Hey everyone, I'm Case Aiken, and last time I noted that characters were thrust into the role of Golden Age Superman analog retroactively in the 80s and 90s because DC wanted one timeline to simplify things. In some cases, this was with established characters, like I mentioned last time with Alan Scott, but they also invented a handful of new ones, such as Iron Monroe. Iron Monroe was a creation of nostalgia buff Roy Thomas. Thomas was already instrumental in maintaining the relevance of DC Golden Age characters with his Earth 2 work, so he took up the task of keeping continuity as consistent as possible while still adhering to the new mandate. To that end, he mined early concept drawings of Superman and combined them with proto-Superman characters like Wily's The Gladiator to create a plain-clothes hero with power comparable to Superman's when he first appeared. And I mean mostly plain clothes. He did try a costume once, it didn't stick. And full disclosure, I haven't actually read any stories with the character. I mostly know about him from reading articles about how DC made the new continuity work. But I'm all for super beings who eschew a costume, and also really enjoy the ones who have the sort of meat and potatoes early Superman type of just being strong and tough without much else going on. And while I personally prefer the complexity and ingenuity of the multiverse concept, if you need to have a linear timeline and still make stories that were supposed to involve Superman work, at least it's a character with a thought out metatextual origin. I mean, they could have done a lot worse. And hey, next time we're gonna talk about a scenario where they did a lot worse on purpose. But until then, stay super, man. Hey everyone, I again just want to thank you for staying to the end of the video. Please do all the YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, etc. Help the channel grow. I would love more people to check these out. I was really excited to do this one, despite, as I noted, having not actually read any stories with the character. I just really like the concept, the look, and I'm a big nerd for Roy Thomas stuff. I think of him as the first real comics fan who became a creator, and so it's fun to talk about his works and influence. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, check out the podcast that goes along with this series, Men of Steel. It's over at CertainPOV.com. While there, check out the other great shows we have, and also check out our Discord server. There's a link down below and at the website. Come and interact directly. Would love to get to know you all better. But anyway, have a great week.